standard time with to IO, and that this happens to be the very first by uh, the second tutorial on the course E and G 3 to 1. And uh, today, tutorial happens to be all right, the very all right, last tutorial on the course, and it promises to be an interesting and all just one. Okay, I believe we have our writing materials. Um, let's progress in the class. This being said, let's go straight into it. Okay. <clears throat> now we have E and G three eight one. Okay. Now we are taking our bearing from all right, what does novel means? We're going to be dissecting, all right, what novel means and um, what makes up the novel, the origin and everything about the novel, okay? A novel, all right? So we have that as that. Now let's uh, proceed. Now, when we say novel, what are we talking about? Okay, it is an imaginative work of art, all right? Imaginative art, all right? Presented in the prose form. This means that the story presented in the novel is fictional. All right? This is a art, all right? Imaginative art, I beg your pardon. This is said to be uh, said to be an imaginative art presented in a prose. Form, all right. Proves in the sense, all right, that the story, all right, presented is fictional. All right, the story presented in the novel is fictional. All right. Now, when we say prose, what are we talking about? Okay, <clears throat> now prose is said to be the most distinctive and common form of language. All right, the most distinctive and common form of language. Okay, its origin is traced to the Latin word prosa. The most distinctive and common form of language, all right? Origin, origin is traced to through the what the all right, origin is traced to the Latin word prosa. The Latin word prosa, okay, which means straightforward in literal, all right, in the literal sense, straight forward, all right, literally speaking. Okay, so we have novel. It's said to be an imaginative art. Right. And this imaginative art is presented in a prose form. Okay, now we say prose in the sense that the story narrated or presented in this novel is fictional. 
When we say fictional, it is what? An imagination. It's not real. It's not existing. It doesn't exist. All right? But it is close, all right, to existence, or it is still imaginative. Okay? So we have that as that. Okay, so we have now when we say fiction, all right, these are the things that makes up novel. We have fiction. All right. Fiction. When we say fiction, it said to be what? Now, fiction origins also traced, all right, origin. Is traced to a Latin word, all right. And this Latin word is called fictum. Fictum, all right. Fictum, which means created, all right. Created. Okay, and refers to stories. Stories created. Incidents, events, accounts, all right, that are not real, all right, stories, all right, events, accounts, what, not real, fictional, all right, from the Latin word fictum, all right, and says it means to what to create, all right, stories. Event account that are what not real, all right. Good example of fictions are stories like what we just said, folk tales, all right, folk tales, tales, and other fabricated, generally fabricated stories. Okay, we have that as that, all right now. Prose fiction is presented in a narrative form okay there are other form of prose that are presented in a narrative form that are not classified as prose fiction all right but prose fiction is presented in a narrative form okay so we have that as that now the novel is said to be the, what, the longest all right form of prose fiction the longest form of prose fiction all right then we also have novella all right followed by novella all right followed by novella and we have short stories all right novel is said to be the longest form of prose fiction they also have novella all right then we have short stories all right all these are prose fictions okay now Let's quickly talk about the English novel. Okay, now, the origin of the English novel. Now, it is traced to what? Origin of the English novel. All right, trace towards the Medivia. All right, the origin of the English novel is traced to the what? Medivia. All right, medieval, medieval, not via. All right, trace to the medieval and early modern romance in the tradition of the novella, according to Wikipedia. All right, so the term novel, as we or as we know today is derived from novella now let's take this 
the origin of English novel can be traced down to the early modern day, all right, to the early modern romance, all right, novel, uh, me, me, uh, we have medieval and modern, all right, early medieval, all right, medieval, med, okay, let me write this well, all right, we have Medieval, all right, medieval, and, and early modern romance, early modern romance, all right, talking about the origin of the English novel, all right, through the medieval, and early modern, right, English, all right, early modern romance, and in the tradition of, in the tradition of novella, all right, in the tradition, in the tradition of what novella okay in the tradition of novella okay now we have that as that okay so we can say that the term novel as you all know today is derived all right novel all right derived from novella now assuming you are asked in the exam right what can you say about the origin of the english novel all right this is how you want to start all right now just a minute let's proceed okay now Let's just take one or two more points before I read it properly. All right. So now, the origin of novel is also traced to the early allegorical works and, all right, also the romantic period that produced romance and gothic novel. All right. Romance and gothic novel. Okay. Now, let's take that. Now, we have two keywords here. All right. The romantic. All right. The romantic period. All right. That produced. All right. That produced what? Romance and Gothic novel. Romance. And got it. Okay. Now this is it. Now if you want to trace, if you want to talk about the origin of English novel, this is this how you're going to arrange it. Now, the origin of the English novel can be traced down, all right, to the early modern romance, all right, period, all right. To the early modern romance period, all right, where romance and gothic novel were produced, all right. This era can as well be referred to as the medieval era, okay. And the word novel can be said, all right, to be gotten from the tradition, all right, the tradition of novella all right so the word is gotten from novella from the word novella novel okay that's how you arrange it talking about the time and the origin of the word itself which is novella okay so we have that as that now let's uh, proceed okay just a moment 
Let's proceed. Okay, so we have that as that. Now we have romance. We've been talking about romance, romance, romance. What are we talking about in essence? Now, romance, the word romance is term, all right, trace beginning, all right, this word now, romance was first used in the 13th and the 14th century. Word romance, all right, first used in the 13th and 14th century. All right, first used in the 13th and in the 14th century. All right, to denote a form of Tory that was initially derived or adapted from Roman and Greek history. All right, used to tell a story. All right used to tell a story that was initially all right a story that was initially gotten from roman and greek history all right tell a story that was initially all right adopted from the all right from the roman and greek history Turi and Greek history. All right, or well, historians. So we have that is that. Now we said something about the Gothic. All right. The Gothic. Alright. Now the Gothic novel, this type of novel, alright, presents a story all right, that combines elements of horror and romance. Alright. This novel, alright, presents a story. Alright. Present a story. Okay that combines elements that combines elements of horror okay element of horror by this clearly element of horror and and romance in the plot and romance in the plot all right and romance in the plot and was said to have originated with or raised while for the castle of otranto oh i love i so much love this all right the castle of otranto that's one of the literal literature books we read in secondary school the castle of otranto all right so we have said in the plot and was said to have originated to have originated from all right originated with Oris Walpole originated with Oris Walpole all right, or is Walpole is the writer. All right, Walpole's and the name of the book is Castle of Castle of Otranto. All right, Otranto in 1764. Castle of Otranto, 1764. So we have that as that. Now let's proceed. So we have a 
Okay, now let's look at some some literature books. All right, some literature books and um, all right and some literature books and their plot, theme, and settings. All right, some literature novels. All right, let's see some novels. All right, some novels. All right. As specified in our material, they are plot, they are settings, and team. Okay, so we have so um, we have the novel. Written by Daniel V. Four, all right. A novel written by Daniel D. Four, all right. And who is Daniel D. Four? Daniel D. Four happens to be, all right, a literary, all right, artist and a journalist, all right. Novel, all right. We have Daniel D4. All right, Daniel D4 happens to be what? A literary artist, literary artist, and a journalist who perceived, all right, who is perceived to be one of the greatest journalists of his time. All right, he was a prolific writer with over 370 known publications. All right, best journalist of his time. All right, with three over 370 publications. All right, 370 publications, known publications, all right, so that is a song that we're not even known, but was published, all right, but 370 known public, uh, publications, all right, he had ability to write on almost any topic, all right, Daniel Defoe, he was regarded as a man who lacked integrity, all right, therefore, was not taken serious in his literary circle, all right, at that time. Although the acknowledge is skill at writing, all right. That is Daniel Defoe. All okay, so we have that as that, that. Now let's sum. Um, Okay, so we have so he wrote a book, all right. One of his book we are looking at. One of his book we are looking at is the further adventure of Robinson. The further adventure of Robinson all right course all right we have Kusoe okay the further adventure of Robinson Kusoe all right now Now this is said this book, all right, was so successful that it was immediately pirated, all right. Abridged, pirated, abridged, imitated, 
translated and adapted for the stage of all right drama all right because of its universal appeal the book was so successful okay so we have that as that now let's proceed Now, let's talk about something called legitimacy. Legitimacy of novel. Alright? Is unique gen of literature. The unique. Alright? Journ of literature. All right, the unique gen of literature is what gives a novel, all right, legitimacy. Okay, so we have that as that. Now let's take a look at some certain things. All right, some certain things to look out in a novel. All right, there are certain things to look out in a novel. All right. So we have realism. Okay. All right. Realism is a literature theory or movement. All right, it's associated with a realistic portrayal of life in a work of art. All right, related to a realistic okay portrayal of life. Portrayal of realistic portrayal of life in a work of art in a work of art related to what a realistic portrayal right how life even though it's a novel all right it still has to look so real all right realistic portrayal of life in the work of art all right now we have something called craft craft a good novel is made up of credibility and craft of the work okay all right credibility and craft a good novel is made up of credibility and credibility and craft all right of the work Now, when we say credibility as craft, we are always saying that credibility in the novel detects that it should create incidents and events that are possible and plausible. All right? Advantageous. All right? It's of advantage to the novel. All right? And it's possible. Okay? So we have theme. Theme is said to be the controlling idea before the story. And we have setting. Which is referred to as a place, time, and event that the story took place. And we have that as that. Alright, so let's talk about Okay. Now let's talk about this novel. 
all right let's talk about this novel there are about a few of them here but let's talk about the one called okay the novel called just a moment the pilgrimage progress by john buyan all right the pilgrimage the what programs all right progress all right 1678 by john boyan john bonya by john bonya now the theme all right the central idea of the novel we refer to theme as the central idea all right now the novel explores all right it's all about faith and steadfastness okay faith and steadfast that's the central idea of the novel faith and steadfastness necessary for christians who want to attain everlasting life in heaven all right necessary okay necessary for christians for christians who wants to all right attain everlasting life attain everlasting life in heaven all right that's the central idea all right and the plot, all right, we're talking about the, the plot now. All right, we are talking about the way at which, all right, the novel is being portrayed. All right, there's a protagonist, all right, talking about the plot now, I'll give you a short story of how the story is. All right, there's a protagonist, all right, called christian all right that's who the center the story is centered on all right protagonist called christian all right and this protagonist all right embarked on a journey all right from his hometown his own hometown is called the city of destruction which represents this world all right this world and he was weighed down he has on his back a heavy body all right which is the knowledge of sin and realizes that his body will make him to sink into hell so he decides to seek the deliverance seek deliverance to avoid such fate and that was how the story began and he met a lot of people on the road, discouragement, encouragement, troubles, tribulation, but eventually he pulled through. And we have characters like evangelists, all right, who is always coming to encourage, all right, who is always coming to save Christian whenever he gets into trouble. And we have Apollyon, all right, Apollyon is what? Is a destroyer. All right, he's the lord of the city of destruction, is compared to the devil. All right, and we have hopeful, which is part of Christian's encouragement, is a friend that he met on his way. All right, we have that as that. Okay, and we have the settings. All right, we have places like when we say settings, places and events in the all right in the novel. We have city of destruction. Okay, we have a lot of bad, bad people, liar, blasphemer. We have the wicked gates where we have people who does wicked things and 
that is that on that. All right. So I think the other novels, all right, all are in the keynote for people in the private class. All right. So thank you very much, everyone. I believe um, we've been able to gain a thing or two. Let's do well to take advantage of the keynote that we made available on the website. All right. Thank you very much. And also there will be past questions and practice questions on the website. All right. Use the link in the description below of the video. All right. www.r.com and get everything you require. Look forward to seeing you in subsequent tutorials. Bye-bye.